Hey, what's up guys? This is Bobby, W6IWN. Uh, I came here last week to park, uh, what's it, Kilo 4391, just here below Peavine Peak to do a poda where I know a lot of other local operators came. But with my Zygu 90, I was just getting wiped out. As you can see back there, there's uh, a bunch of towers and there's also some AM broadcast. And I, I it's just harmonics, I just couldn't operate. So I did some uh, research and uh, Steve from Offline Ham Radio, KM9G, did a really awesome video on this AM broadcast filter kit he built. Uh, and that kit is by K9D9 and uh, here it is. I'm not going to do a video on how it's made. Check out Steve's site, Temporary Offline. If you're not a subscriber, you should definitely go check it out. It was only $19.99. Free shipping, I got it off Amazon. Uh, not gonna lie, I was skeptical. Right after I built it, I hooked it up at home. I don't have that problem at home with it interfering, so I tuned right to an AM 1450, and I was doing some tests, and I didn't see any difference at all. So I came out here today kinda skeptical, and uh, first I tried it without it to make sure if the same thing was happening, and sure enough, yes, I cannot operate. I plug this little magical unit in and pow, wow, now I can operate. I'm super excited and for 20 bucks. I was looking at filters out there, but I'm not gonna go pay $90 for a filter for my $500 radio, you know what I mean? Or I'd rather not. So I'm super uh, stoked on this. And I know I've heard a lot of other people have this problem. And uh, as far as I know, it works with all the other Zygu radios that are SDR, so. Uh, check it out. I'm going to do a quick comparison and then show you guys what I'm working with here. Alright, so my setup today is the uh, Zygu G90 as you can see. And right now I'm doing my normal setup. Just straight in to uh, in-fed half wave. Going north to south here and uh, up there is the infamous Peavine Peak. So you can see how I could uh, receive interference here. Anyhow, uh, let's do a quick test. What is happening here in 40 meters? I'm just, I can't make anybody out. There's just this horrible noise. I don't even have the preamp on it. It's just, it's horrible. What, what is that on 20 meters? Sure sounds like an AM station coming across there. 17. Thir yeah. 10 meters. Sounds like a Mexican Spanish radio station. All right, let me plug in the filter and we'll try to see what we hear. Okay, now I have the filter in line. It does come with a heat shrink. I haven't put it on yet. So I just kind of got it off the ground a little bit there. Um, let's turn it on and see what we got here. To your seat. Oh, is that, uh, look at that. on 40 meters I can... I can hear people. I can swing the dial. And I'm nice. So far, so good. Okay, 10 megahertz. I noticed it's Sunday here, and the church station just started blasting their stuff. But it's not nearly as bad. I can barely hear it, but it, it's still there on 10 megahertz. Yeah. I went to him, I said, hey. 20 meters. I went and rented, I went and rented like six motorcycles from six Same thing, I can uh, use it. Back I'm in, not getting interference. Uh, Good there. Okay, back on 21, I'm getting church again. However, it's not that bad. Good here. 10 meters. It's getting it kind of, it's still getting some interference. But I am literally right by the tower. However, before, I could not operate at all. 
so I'm in a poor location I mean right below the tower but I just wanted to prove that uh, this filter does work and uh, I would recommend it this is W6 IWN thanks for watching